Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an all new series here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and uh, as you can see by whatever creative thumbnail I've thrown together, today we are going to be playing Aladdin, Narisa, uh, Narisa's, Nasira's, Nasira's Revenge on the PlayStation 1. Now, I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, Corky, I don't know who Nasira is. I don't remember that character from Aladdin mythology. As well, you shouldn't. I don't know that this is canon at all. I'm sure this was a game that Disney slapped together to go alongside... Look at that shit. <laughs> slapped along... That slapped together to, to sell with the TV show that came out probably around the same time. So this is actually an FMV scene that I'm going to stay quiet for so you can all hear what I just fucking heard. On this fateful night, I command the powers of evil to part the sands of time and make a vision clear. Summon Jafar from the darkest depths and bring him here. Here I am. Oh, Nazira, my sister. I've been waiting this dreadful place far too long. Have you discovered to bring me back to Agrabah? Indeed, I have Jafar. According to ancient legend, that is a spell. It's clipping so bad, I don't know why it's doing this. I. It's not as bad as it was the first time I put the disc in. I tried cleaning the disc. Why, just because the PlayStation's old? God, this is horrible to watch. All right, here's what I gathered. They're gonna attack Agrabah, cause blah blah blah. Oh god, there's still more cutscene. This is terrible. I can't tell if it's doing this because of the way I record or what. But we've watched other cutscenes that haven't been terrible, so. What is happening? There's no way it's supposed to run like this. Oh, but then it did that shit just fine! Uh, uh, right off the bat, this right here, this doesn't look terrible. That cutscene was glitchy as hell. Uh, but this, this looks alright. Music's okay. I'm gonna turn it down on my TV a little bit. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna read the back of the box for you guys, because I think I'm gonna start doing that when I have the option. Alright. All the adventure you could... <laughs> All the adventure you could wish for. Agrabah is in trouble, again. The evil sorceress Nasira is out to avenge her twin brother Jafar and destroy those who defeated him. Join Aladdin and his friends in a frantic battle between good and evil. This right here doesn't look bad. It's just like Mario. Uh, escape to this magical world and just follow your imagination. Features original character voices from the hit TV series. Alright, so I was right on that aspect. Uh, run, swing, and sneak through the streets of Agrabah. Throw apples and fire daggers to stun enemies. Pull daring rescues on the magic carpet. Play as Aladdin, Abu, and Jasmine as you journey through ma uh, mystical landscapes. Enjoy hidden challenges in Genie's bonus world or win big on his wish machine. So guys, this literally sounds like it was trying to cash in on the popularity and, uh, and, uh, well-received and very well-loved game from our childhood, the, uh, the Aladdin game, which was on either Super Nintendo or Genesis, depending on what kind of kid you were. Uh... We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm I'm hopeful. Uh, I'm going to try and squeeze a five-episode series out of this unless it gets unplayable or I get too... <laughs> oh, man. This is going to this is gonna be something, all right? Okay. Start game, please. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Coffee's getting a little cold. Aha! Good evening. Worthy friends. Please, please, come closer. All right, uh, no Aladdin saves. Yeah, let's create one. It's just a frame of him just set there. Yeah, new game. I guess right here. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, what's it playing in the background? Is it a whole new world? That's pretty cool. Can't wait to get a copyright strike on that. Flat image. God, these FMVs are gonna kill me. Was it Dan Castanella? Good morning, GD. Wake up call. How could you do this to all I've done to you? Oh, what did you do it? Weren't those wishes enough for you? Come on, Open your eyes and smell the hummus. You're the wanted man. He said, open your eyes and smell the hummus. This has got to be some kind of mistake. By royal decree of the new ruler of Agrabah, Nazira? It's got to be a mistake, Al. Something must have gone wrong at the palace. <gasps> oh, no. You don't think something happened to Princess Jasmine and the Sultan? Al, you better go and find out. But be careful. From the looks of this, I think the palace guards might be looking for you. Ooh. Uh, th for those of you who don't know, Dan Castanell is also the voice of uh, Homer Simpson on The Simpsons. So that might be why Genie sounds more like Homer instead of uh, Robin Williams. Because he didn't he didn't do the voice on the show, which is fine. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect Robin Williams. God. I don't even hate that load screen, honestly. As I was saying, I wouldn't have expected Robin Williams to do, his vo do a voice on the TV show. Alright, got jump. Swing your sword. This is block, I guess. And that's put sword away. I don't know why you would want to do that. Alright, camera is shoulder button. It goes to first person mode. Why would you want that? There's a party here in Agrabah. Where am I right. Controls aren't great. That's fine. Yeah, I can break that, but not the other thing. Al, you activated a genie information point. These are a great source of information, so do not ignore them. Did you know that coins are the main currency in Agrabah? Did you know that coins are the main currency in Agrabah? Different tasks, and might be useful in buying a thing or two. I got a little hint for you. Collect coins wherever you can. That didn't even sound like it was Dan Castanella the whole time. This is going to be fun playthrough. Like I said, I'm I'm optimistic. Uh, I would much rather get. Uh, I actually have a copy. Oh god. Al, you can get a good look around by pressing L1 on the controller. This can come in handy when you want to aim one of your throws or just take in the gorgeous sights. What? What was I just saying? Um. I actually have a copy of Aladdin on Genesis, so when I pick up a Retron, I'll I'll do a little. I'm, I, I was about to say playthrough, but I suck at that game. It's not gonna be a full playthrough. I'll I'll play a little bit. I'll use cheat codes. Very precious and very valuable. If you collect them on a level, you'll enter my mysterious magical lamp and get a chance to earn a special bonus. A special bonus. I can't do I can't do a homework voice. Ha! Ah! Nah. A special bonus! The mind is willing, but the flesh is spongy and weak. Alright, come on. I like this so far. Okay. Al, this isn't just any token, it's a genie token! A genie token! to win valuable prizes on my genie wish machine! End of a level, you'll get to the wish machine. Trust me, kid, you're gonna want to collect as many as you can find, because the prizes are worth. Okay. Yeah. Get the coins. Lag a bit. God damn! Master, you can draw your sword by pressing triangle. Once it's drawn, you can attack with your sword by pressing the square button. Use your sword to attack enemies and break pots to reveal hidden treasures. It's so distorted on the TV I'm playing on, it barely looks like a square or an X or a triangle. That's all fine and good, but why would you ever want to put the sword away? So are those the same as the other ones, or...? 
there's a party here in Agrippa. Um. So every, everyone knows Aladdin. That's that's. Uh, God damn it! You can use R two and. Yeah, I already did that. Take the camera. Okay. If you press both, you can lock on behind you. Got it. Um, everyone knows Aladdin. Uh, and most people have a faint understanding of what uh, the Return of Jafar is. But not too many people remember. Uh, Return of Jafar was the sequel to Aladdin, the straight to VHS at the time because it was before DVD. Uh, the straight to VHS sequel, which of which Disney had hundreds of for their movies. Uh, anytime a movie did, and I, and I think I sat down with Pref, uh, Professor Sanford one time and tried to figure out a formula that was like, if a movie makes X amount of money in certain studios, that's what pushes it to get a sequel, whether or not it got good reviews or not. Granted, that's probably changed by now, but, um... Uh... Disney was notorious for churning out anything if a movie made any kind of money. Uh, they don't do it so much anymore because they they kind of became a laughing stock for doing it. All right, what did he say? Block. That's fine. Uh, but a lot of people don't like Return of Jafar. I am one of those people. Uh, they didn't get Robin Williams back for it. Uh, the plot is not very good. <laughs> There's like three songs in it, and they're all terrible. I got a gem. Uh, it just, and I say they're all terrible. One was actually okay. Uh, what are these? Health, I guess? They're little genie juice boxes. I'm actually kind of cool with that. Uh, but, uh, a lot of people don't remember or don't know about, um, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, or Aladdin and, uh, Aladdin, yeah, I think it's Aladdin and the King of Thieves, but Aladdin's father comes back, and it turns out he's the leader of the 40 Thieves, and, uh, it was, it was really good, Robin Williams came back for it, I really liked that one, and I would wish I had, uh, had been in a spot when Disney released all three of the movies together on DVD, I think they did that, like, a very limited press, uh, cause I would've snatched that shit up. I dropped the controller. Uh, we have Aladdin on Blu-ray, but it's just it's just the first one. I really like the third one too. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. I will I will kick it back off uh, right here, and we'll continue on the level. But I don't want these to be a super long episode series. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite straight to DVD sequel or movie is. Uh, I'm just interested. I just want to know. Guys, always remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and Aladdin and I will see you in the next episode. Later days! Jafar! <laughs>